What's up guys? Eric and Dan here with Tools in Action. Um, today we're going to go over something that's a little out of our realm. Not out of my, my realm because obviously you can look at me. I love eating and this helps me eat better. So this is a smoker slash grill. I had a buddy reach out to me. He says, hey, I'm thinking about getting a Z grill. What do you think of it? I have never heard of Z grill and I didn't know what to make out of it because you can look online and you're like, okay, it looks nice, but what is the quality truly like? So we ended up getting one and I got to be honest with you i am surprised how nice this z grill is um here when this guy told me about it i thought it was a knockoff and actually he was dead on saying these are actually really nice smokers and i want to go over and just show you a couple things that i like about the smoker and what i think that you guys will like about the smoker but i want you to look at it and does it remind you of any type of other smoker out there on the market because as soon as i put it together and i saw it it reminded me right away of traeger i'm like okay this is a traeger knockoff but how does it compare to Traeger? So when I was putting it together, one of the things I noticed was the heat shield. And that is much different than my Traeger. The Traeger's got a nice heat shield, but it's thin. This heat shield is really, it's thick metal. And I don't know, I didn't research it or not, but to me, the thicker metal is better. The reason being is because once it heats up, I would think it would dissipate heat, or just, you know, it would heat much more evenly, where if you have thin metal, it's got to constantly heat, cool, heat, cool, and again, I could be wrong, but I did notice though, when we were cooking, we cooked outside when it was five degrees, and I think one time it was like 43 or 50 degrees. It did an awesome job at keeping a consistent temperature, which is awesome. So that's one of the reasons I think that's nice about the heat shield. In terms of the grates, it's got the exact same grates, nice grates. I don't know if they're, they're I mean, it's basically, I don't wanna say non-stick, but it reminds me exactly of the Traeger grates. They're, they're nice. This drip pan, I didn't, I ended up just getting uh, Traeger covers just to cover it. You don't have to, but I do it just because it's, it's easier to clean. All right, I'm going to go into the lid. The lid's nice. And one thing I like is the hinges. And the more I went over this grill, the more I started realizing how high quality this grill is. For me to think it's a knockoff grill, and I'm starting to see the quality of it. And I want to talk to you. This is a huge feature for me. And guys, I love Traeger, don't get me wrong, and Traeger I've always been sold on. I use my Traeger all the time. But one thing that bothers me about the Traeger is the hopper. The hopper on the Z grill, I can get a 20 pound bag in here and I have nothing left over. It all fits in the hopper, which is nice. In my Traeger, I think I can only get maybe 15, 16, or 17 pounds in there. So I've always got a little bit left over, so I've always got to have a five gallon bucket to put it in. And it's kind of a pain, and that's, a design flaw that I was never happy about with the Traeger. When you come down here, this is a little bit different than the Traeger. This is the user interface. It's very easy to use. I actually like the knob where the Traeger's got a button, like a push button to actually select it. Now the difference being is with this one, you have smoke 180, 225, 275, 325, 375, and then you have high. Where the Traeger, you can actually dial it down here you're stuck with the custom presets, which I'm fine with because most of the stuff that I've ever smoked with my Traeger is the same as these custom presets, so it's not a big deal for me. One thing that is nice is the thermometer. So Traeger's got one. This actually has a place where you can actually put two in and you can monitor two different types of meat or however you want to use it. I like that because sometimes I have my Traeger hooked up where I have the, um, the temperature gauge in the meat, but I also have to have a wireless one because I'm cooking two different types of meat. One might be a lot thicker than the other one, so it's nice to monitor it that way. I like that aspect of it. This is a huge selling feature for me. And again, it's down here. I like having this. My Traeger and a lot of the Traegers only have just stands, so you can't put anything down inside. It doesn't have a cabinet. This has a nice cabinet, and what's nice is it's got magnets up top and the bottom, so they didn't cheap out on anything. And just like the tra Traeger, it's got the drip uh, bucket also. I put a liner in there. Um, and like I said, we've cooked different things on here, and it has been awesome. I love the consistency of it. So when I looked at it, it's like, they've got a long history. This isn't something that's just a knockoff. This is a quality grill, and I think it it is right up there with the Traeger. And I've never tested Pit Boss, but I've heard good things about Pit Boss also. But if you're looking for a grill, I gotta tell you, if I had the Traeger next to it and the Z grill, I think I'd go with the Z grill. 
And the only reason being is they're both super high quality grills and I can't complain about either one of them. But the two things that I like better about this one is first of all is the hopper. Being able to put a full bag in there is absolutely huge. I don't have to mess around. Because at home, I've got different buckets and it's kind of a pain. And I do like this interface a little bit better. Being able to have two uh, meat temperature gauges in there, which is nice. And don't get me wrong, I am not ripping on Traeger at all. I love my Traeger, I'll continue to use my Traeger and I love it. But if you are actually looking for a smoker, Z Grills is priced a little bit better as of right now during this video, is priced a little bit better than the Traeger. But I'm telling you, the quality on this is top notch. And I don't think, I can't find any flaw with it. If I could, if there was one flaw is, would be this. For someone like me, I have to move my grill around because I've got a small driveway and my kids play basketball and they play different sports there. So I can't put this and just leave it there. The casters, why they roll nice, they're not huge casters. So some people might have a little bit harder time rolling it. And then the other thing, which again, it's not a big deal. I'm just nitpicking. It'd be nice to have a bigger handle. So if I move it, the Traeger's got a nice big handle where I can move it. But again, I would still, side by side, I'd still go with this one because those two things don't really bother me enough to uh, make it or break it for me. All right, so there you go. I don't know, Dan didn't really have a whole bunch to say. I wish he would have talked more, but I think he's just so amazed by this grill and the quality of the grill. He's still in awe and can't really, can't really say anything, huh? But we'll see. There you go. Check it out. Go to our Tools in Action website. We've got more information on this grill, and we've got other grills on there that you can take a look at, too. Remember, for more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.